And we are back. Uh, just a quick note, make sure if you have any questions throughout the day, you're online, you're trying to, to get a question to a presenter, make sure you're asking them through Primavera's social media channels. So you're going to Facebook, you're going to Instagram, you're going to Twitter, uh, you're sending a direct message through any of those three straight to Primavera so we can receive it and relay it to the presenter. If you're on Snapchat, feel free to send us a snap with your question and we can also relay that to our presenters throughout the day. Now, just a little note too, uh, Benedictine University, uh, their presenter unfortunately had to run out of town for family emergency, so they will not be here presenting today. However, we do have the presentation that they were going to give, so we will walk through those slides on that uh, PowerPoint presentation real quick so you have information on Benedictine and that way you know who to contact if you would like more information on the school. So again, make sure you're asking all of your questions through Primavera social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, sending us your snaps on Snapchat. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask them. All right, we'll go into the presentation here um, for Benedictine University. So Benedictine University uh, is open here in Mesa, and it's a campus that just opened here within the past couple of years. Um, going through, you know, Benedictine is a the first uh, four-year Catholic university in the state of Arizona, and has a tradition of hospitality, an appreciation for living and working in community, concern for the development of each person, an emphasis on a life lived in balance, a dedication to responsible stewardship, of the earth and a commitment to academic excellence. So some of the benefits uh, as far as academics goes for Benedictine, um, you know, you've got your uh, smaller class sizes, uh, average class size is about 19 students, so you're not in a lecture hall with 250 other kids taking the same class. Um, the 16 to 1 student to faculty ratio, again, you get more one-on-one -on -one time with those professors, you don't have the large group setting for your classes. There is a strong liber lib liberal arts core curriculum um, that helps you know, become more well-rounded and prepare for leadership roles. And Benedictine has actually been uh, in existence for 125 years. Uh, this is just a list of some of the majors that Benedictine has. You've got accounting, communication arts, computer science, criminal justice, fine arts, graphic arts and design, management and organizational behavior, Nutrition, political science, psychology, Spanish, theology, uh, minor in religious studies, or again, if you're undecided and you're trying to figure out what you want to take, you can go ahead and get your core classes out of the way uh, while you figure out which major you want to pursue. Inside the classroom, you have one-on-one -on -one attention uh, available to you after class. Each professor has office hours to assist students, so if you're struggling in something, you can set up time in those office hours to go ahead and talk to your professor so you can get that assistance you might need. And then many of the professors will hand out their cell phone numbers so they can help you while you're studying at home, uh, make things a little bit easier for you so you're not you know, pushed to the limit every single day in your classes. In the John O. Whiteman Success Center, uh, they have free tutoring and study sessions available, academic support services, a writing zone, as well as math and writing learning specialists on staff and job opportunities are available for student peer tutors. So you have lots of options there. You can get help from academic support services as well as get tutored from other students in case you are struggling in some of your subjects. There are internships uh, available through Benedictine. Uh, real on-the-job experiences allow students to gain confidence and assurance of their major or profession that they are considering. You've got your internship services, networking events and job fairs, so you can set yourself up for postgraduate uh, life and make sure that you are on track to go ahead and get a job once you are done. They have resume building classes as well as job shadowing and mock interviews so that you can go in and get that stuff uh, on point when you are ready to have a legitimate job interview after you've gone ahead and graduated. Life outside the classroom, um, you have student activities at the YMCA recreation uh, facility that's there. Um, you have student clubs, there's a student senate, there's academic clubs, um, you know, you have a Catholic Student Alliance. There's a lot of opportunities there at Benedictine for you to be involved outside of the classroom with the school. The uh, housing uh, side of things, they are actually in the process right now at Benedictine of building their own housing. So some of this housing information is a little outdated, um, but 
once that uh, housing information is updated, you'll be able to find it on the Benedictine Mesa website, as well as contacting the rep that we have for Benedictine so you can get that information. Um, they have intercollegiate sports, uh, men's and women's. You have cross country, golf, tennis, volleyball, uh, basketball for both uh, men and women. You have softball for women, baseball for men, and you have soccer as well as cheer and dance for the women's sports. So there are lots of athletic opportunities for you at Benedictine. It's not just a you know, traditional school. You can go ahead and get your uh, athletic scholarship to Benedictine and go play college sports there as well. So if we have any athletes out there that are tuned in right now, this is definitely an option for you to go ahead and pursue college athletics while you're going ahead and getting your degree. So for the admissions process, uh, freshman admission, you have to submit your student application. Um, you have to go to campus um, and you know, do your uh, application fee. Your official high school transcripts, they're looking for you know, a 2.5 GPA or the top 50% of your class, uh, an ACT score of 21 or an SAT score of 990, as well as a personal statement from you why you would want to attend Benedictine, as well as a letter of recommendation if uh, it is deemed necessary. And we don't have any current college students that are full-time, so the transfer admission is a little bit different. Um, again, if you want to go ahead and look at transferring to Benedictine after you've been at another college, the uh, information's right there on the screen for you. The tuitions and fees, again, um, 2016-2017 undergrad tuition, uh, you're looking at about $10,200 a semester. And if you have any further questions, again, reach out to the rep that we have at Benedictine so that way um, she can go ahead and walk you through more of the tuition and fees that uh, Benedictine has. Um, there are also merit-based scholarships um, available to you based on academic performance in high school or current college experience. And again, those will vary. So if you are interested and you want more information, you definitely need to reach out to Benedictine so you can see exactly what kind of scholarships they have available for you if you are going to attend. Um, and that way you know exactly how much you are going to need um, in addition to those scholarships that are available. So the next steps that you have as a student, uh, you can visit Benedictine at Mesa campus. Um, you can go ahead and get your undergrad application and all your required documents submitted if it's something that you are definitely interested in pursuing. You can get your scholarship awards uh, if you are eligible for them and apply for those scholarships. Um, and then make sure you are applying for state and federal financial aid. The website for FAFSA is listed right there. Um, and you know, again, there are a couple other steps that you need to complete. It's all right here on the screen. Uh, but again, the recommendation is if you do have questions and you are interested in attending Benedictine, you do need to contact them as soon as possible. So that will uh, wrap it up for the Benedictine presentation. Uh, make sure that if you are interested, you go to www.ben.edu backslash, backslash Mesa so you can get to the Mesa campus. There will be contact information on the screen. Uh, also. At the end of the Digital College Fair, um, early next week, we will be posting the contact information for the reps affiliated with each of the schools. So if you do have direct questions that you would like to ask them, feel free to reach out to them so that you can get in contact. So coming up, we are going to have, uh, our next two presentations are going to be uh, Grand Canyon University and Arizona State University. And those will be going here at about 9.45 and about 10, 15, 10, uh, 25. So if you have any questions, you've got them in your mind already, you've wanted to attend GCU or Arizona State for a couple years now, haven't really gone through and asked any of those questions yet, this is the time to do that again. Make sure you are asking those questions through our social media channels here uh, at Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, sending us snaps on Snapchat, however you want to get those questions across to us. Make sure you are asking them throughout the day because we will be able to get them directly to the reps and you'll be able to see them answered live on camera. Again, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, send us those questions. We want as much give and take between you, the students, and us, the um, administrators and the representatives for each of the schools. So make sure you're getting those questions in as soon as possible. We'll see you back in about 10 minutes.